Number 8. E92 M3 GTS, 150 units. Back in 2011, BMW developed a special version of the E92 M3 called the GTS. It was a limited edition race-inspired version of the already sporty M3. It featured several upgrades and modifications, making it even more performance-oriented and exciting to drive. Under the hood, the M3 GTS packed a modified version of the S65 V8 engine that delivered 444 horses and 325 pound-feet of torque. The engine was mated to a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox, providing lightning-fast shifts and excellent performance. A 0 to 60 time is less than 4 seconds, and it'll top out at around 190 miles per hour. It was priced at around $160,000 when it was released in 2010. Only 150 units were produced worldwide, making it a rare and highly sought-after vehicle among car enthusiasts. Number 7. E90 M3 CRT, 68 units. The M3 CRT is also a limited edition similar to the M3 GTS, but this time, a sedan. It was produced in 2011. CRT stands for Carbon Racing Technology and refers to the extensive use of carbon fiber reinforced plastic in the car's design, resulting in a significantly lighter weight than the standard M3 sedan, specifically about 154 pounds lighter. The M3 CRT is powered by a 4.4-liter V8 engine that produces over 400 horsepower, enabling the CRT to achieve a 0 to 60 time of just 4.1 seconds. Despite being a high-performance machine, it still manages to provide a comfortable ride and practicality for those seeking a versatile sports sedan. Only 68 units were built, of which 67 were sold exclusively in the European market. The M3 CRT is not intended for American gearheads. Number 6. BMW 3.0 CSL, 50 units. To celebrate the 50th anniversary of the M Division and to pay tribute to the iconic Batmobile, BMW launched the new 3.0 CSL in 2022. Only 50 units are handmade at plant dingolfing, costing around 750,000 euros each. Most of them are intended for the European market. Under the hood, you'll find a twin-turbo 3-liter inline-six, just like the one in the current M4. It was already the brand's most powerful inline-six, but was tweaked to increase to 553 horses. The mill is mated to a six-speed manual that sends power to the rear wheels. The body is almost entirely made from carbon fiber. Nearly every single body panel is made from carbon fiber reinforced plastic. Finally, they are all painted in alpine white with the BMW M stripe livery to honor the original 3.0 CSL's racing livery. Number 5. E34 M520 Yare Motorsport Edition, 20 units. This M5 edition was introduced in 1992 to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the M Motorsport, and all 20 cars were finished in Mugello Red. It is powered by a 3.8-liter inline-six engine that produces 335 horsepower and can hit 60 miles per hour in less than six seconds. It was one of the fastest limousines in the world in the early 1990s. However, this is the configuration for the European market. There is another version for the North American market called the 20 Yare Homage. It has a 3.6-liter inline-six engine. 310 horses, and a five-speed manual gearbox. It is still the largest six-cylinder BMW ever sold in North America, though. Number 4. E46 M3 GTR Street, 6 units. A homologated road version of the M3 GTR race car was produced in 2001. BMW claims 10 units will be sold for a whopping 250,000 euros, but then only six units were made, of which three are development prototypes. The GTR race car was the first M3 to use a V8 engine, and its road version was the same. The 4-liter P60 V8 engine produces 380 horsepower, less than the 444 in the race car. Power was transmitted through a racing-style twin-disc clutch to a six-speed manual gearbox and variable locking M differential. This unique engine is smaller and only 30 pounds heavier than the inline-6 on the standard M3 even though it has two extra cylinders. Number 3. F87 M2 CSL one-off prototype. In 2018, M Division built two special M2 cars, 
One is the M2CSL and the other is the M2CS. The board will choose one to produce. That's why this one-of-a-kind M2CSL exists. It has the same twin-turbo S55 engine as the M2CS. The 3-liter inline-six engine produces around 444 horsepower. The CLS only has a DCT auto, while the CS has an optional six-speed manual gearbox. The M2 CSL took a lot of inspiration from the M4 GTS with its large wing and roll cage. The unique rear wing with 3D printed organic shape mounts and a large carbon fiber wing. Although CSL is not put into production, you don't need to regret it because M2 CS is still great. Number two, E60 M5 CSL, one-off prototype. The E60 Gen M5 has won the hearts of many BMW fans for featuring a highly revving V10 engine that produces an exhilarating sound as an F1, making it one of the most exciting road car engines ever made. The M5 E60 was marketed from 2005 to 2010, and in 2009, BMW created the M5 CSL to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the M5. The prototype with a carbon roof, Recaro seats, and no rear seats saving 330 pounds. The sequential manual transmission has been replaced by a dual-clutch transmission. Under the hood, the 5.5-liter V10 engine is tested to produce 621 horsepower with revs that can go up to 9,000 revolutions per minute. So far, the E60 M5 CSL and its modified engine are both one-offs. Number 1. E31 M8 – One-Off Prototype In the early 1990s, BMW engineers created a secret M8 prototype based on the E31 8 Series Coupe. This first M8 was kept secret for almost two decades, and it was not until 2010 that the super sports car was revealed. Its engine was based on the powerful S76 liter V12 engine, producing 640 horses and 479 pound-feet of torque, power that was almost without competition back then. Paired with a six-speed manual transmission, the M8 prototype is also relatively fast. It can reach top speeds of over 186 miles per hour. Unfortunately, the economic downturn and other reasons made BMW decide not to put the M8 into production. To date, this one-of-a-kind E31 M8 is not only a priceless prototype, but also one of BMW's finest engineering achievements.